Hello and welcome, my name is Robin. That's how humans start every conversation. We here at the Interplanetary School of Imitating Human Behavior want to teach you how to blend in with the human crowd. To use a human phrase, conversation to conversation, and stride to stride. We all know this isn't the best time in the galaxy. Ever since that planet made of money got discovered, our economy has gone down the portable black hole. And even this highly esteemed institution of imitation has been hit with budgetary restraints. So we've only been able to monitor one human being. Named Robin. But there is no reason this specimen isn't the perfect representation of humans as a whole. As your human behavior teacher, I can reassure you Robin acts like any average human. As humans say, he's a real general mark. Why do we need to study this primate or distant cousin of the calculator? Wasn't that an Earth satellite that crashed into a spaceship full of rare pregnant orphan puppies, sending it back in time and indirectly causing the existence of cancer and the tooth fairy? Only the satellite and its contents remained after that horrible tragedy. And thanks to that, we now know that humans, nothing inside that time travel terror causing telegram should be taken as information. We simply don't know what the crash and space radiation have done to it. Believe me. Have you listened to it? That isn't what real music sounds like. I've studied Robin and I know what kind of music humans listen to. The kind of music other humans turn off in the middle of the song because it isn't made by a mind rotting machine designed to tell them they're not skinny or strong enough but this perfume or car or phone case would do the trick. The only thing that differentiates Robin that we know of but I'm pretty sure this really is the only difference. And Robin was the perfect choice. And whoever suggested we should have monitored that guy that leaves his house or that girl that keeps in touch with her friends better were rightfully fired. So the only difference between Robin and other humans is that other humans lie way more. We know this because we use orange blinking traffic lights to scan Robin's brain. And that tells us that the people that he knows lie about liking him. They lie they want to hang out with him, but in reality they just feel bad for him. They even lie they have any idea what he's talking about. And he knows they're lying, because when he quizzes them the next day about their past conversation, they never score much higher than a 6. His explanation of their motivation, they feel bad for him and they secretly hate him, don't always make complete sense to us. But he seems pretty convinced they're lying. Robin himself doesn't lie. And, fun fact, he has five super hot girlfriends in Canada. And I might not know what a Canada is or what it tastes like, but I'm impressed. Observing Robin proved things we previously believed about humans and the planet Earth false. We always thought that the interplanetary worm species Enudareatondinlist that senses conversation and uses this to hunt its prey, didn't make Earth one of its homes. But Robin's incessant looking at the ground during conversations proves otherwise. We used to believe that humans consumed food for its sustenance, and did this at three distinct times during the day, because this was healthy for them. But Robin has taught us that eating food is something to do while you're bored, and could be done at any random time during the day. Oh, the human race, don't you just love them? Isn't it amazing how instead of having conversations with others, they talk out loud to themselves and imagine the real conversations they could have? If you really want to give that authentic human touch to your performance, never talk to the girl with short hair. Just stare at her. Just a lot of staring in general. And if you think the person you're staring at is noticing you staring at them and staring back, start slowly nodding your head and if they respond, you know you just made a real human connection. Robin and presumably the rest of humanity do this all the time, more than hugging. Well class, that was it. Remember to watch Robin's YouTube videos to learn more. I watch some of those videos to prepare for these classes, but I never get what's going on. That's because you're not human. I'm sure other people that watch them completely understand what's going on. Hello and welcome, my name is Robin. That's how humans start every conversation. It's the correct way to say hello when you're pretending to be a carbon-based life form. Welcome to my class.